Good afternoon, sir. You've been charged with two things. You've been charged with manslaughter with a firearm. There's no bond on that offense right now. I'm going to be making a decision in just a moment as to what your bond should be. You've also been charged with possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. There's also no bond on that offense at this time. As I said, I'm going to be making a decision in just a moment as to what your bond should be. Uh, these charges result uh, from allegedly back on September 13th, you discharging a firearm and striking and killing uh, the alleged victim here, your wife. Uh, this uh, case made it, uh, was signed by Judge Aaron, which means he found probable cause for both these charges a couple of days ago. Uh, he indicated no bond, at least until first appearances. You are, in fact, entitled to a bond. I'm going to be making a decision in just a moment as to what your bond should be. I'm first going to hear from the prosecutor to tell me whether or not you have any prior record, give me any information the state believes that I need to have. Then I'm going to hear from your attorney, Ms. Uh, and um, we'll make some decisions. There are, There is a great deal of mitigation here. That is, um, you do not appear to be a flight risk. You certainly had the ability to flee between September 13th and today and obviously did not do so. Uh, you have children in the community, you have in-laws here in the community. Again, it, it does not appear that you are a significant flight risk at this time. Uh, the former military is certainly a factor that the court considers um, in a positive way, the fact that you're a, a business owner in the community. Um, these are, however, aggravated facts. It's uh, terrible facts that uh, the uh, allegation here is the significantly negligent handling of the, the firearm such that it resulted in the death of your wife. Clearly not intentional, but she's no less dead as a result of your uh, negligence and um, indifference to her welfare by the um, handling of the firearm in such a um, grossly careless manner. In any event, uh, the court will indeed be setting bond. You have the ability, uh, th these are charges, wherein a bond is appropriate. I'll set the bond at $50,000 on the manslaughter charge. I'll set the bond at $20,000 on the possession of fire by a convicted felon charge. I will order that if you have a passport that you must turn that into your attorney and he will hold it in safekeeping while these charges are pending against you. No, not necessary for me to appoint the public vendor? Uh, no, All right, your total bonds are $75,000, Mr. Meadows. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, right.